And we're back with Let's Play Quest 64 Part 19, where we fight Nepti. And, yeah, uh, as I was saying last time, before I noticed that I was running out of time, I had a dream where I was in the water, except it didn't look like water, it looked more like this. Where you have, you know, just the outline of water, you can tell you're underwater, but it doesn't really seem like you're underwater. Your movement is not hindered one bit, and so on and so forth. And that does quite a bit of damage. 23 damage. Yeah. And if you're not as leveled up as I have gotten, it will probably do more damage. Which means you'll have to heal a lot more. Which, you could probably use your items. I know I haven't had to use my items for a while. And wow, 90 damage. 90 damage. That's a lot. Seriously. I did not expect to be taking out that much damage on her. Anyways, moving on. Oh, I don't like her melee attack. Her little uh, bubbles that she shoots, those are a little annoying too, but <coughs> it's also possible to uh, do or whatnot. I mean, let's see. Um, you just kind of stand still, let one hit you, the other two miss, or two hit you and one miss, something like that. Okay, how close is she to being gone? That's the question. Let's see, um, I'm gonna heal. Heal, ha ha ha. Oh, never mind. Forget it. Just forget it. Okay, let's just attack her and hope that I can get rid of her. If not, I can always use an item for health. I don't have to use magic to heal. Kind of pointless at this point. I mean, I I'm going to have the all these things that I don't really even use necessarily anyways. Might as well use them on the bosses, right? Let's see. Which bosses have I fought? Don't I have the fire? Okay, I have the... Yeah, okay, I beat her. And we get a one of this. Water, of course. Water jewel obtained. Okay. So we have the earth, we have the wind, and now we have the water. Okay. Now we only have fire left. Then after fire, well... Then what? Guess we'll see when that time comes, won't we? Of course. Da 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 and random battle! Aha, I totally called that, you see? Because I knew this so well because I totally only ran into this. No, actually there's one more random battle after this. Which is still surprising to me because I generally run into like a hundred random battles in this little tiny area. Which is always very annoying because I hate fighting these guys. And technically it's not really even a hundred, it's more like one every two seconds or something like that and of course I only hit one guy or get rid of whatever and then I totally miss again so we're gonna try this another way we're gonna see about hitting him with water and that doesn't do very much so we're gonna hit him with a staff. Oh well, never mind. We tried the rock first. Now we hit the staff, which we miss. Okay, 67 damage with the staff. 62, whatever. 62 is still a lot. 60. Now we're gonna hit this guy with water. Yeah, there you go. 
But see how annoying those are? Look, they took out like over a hundred of my health. And Fifteen of my magic just to heal. And they generally come really fast. So it's really annoying. But that's okay. Ow. Ear. Okay. Sorry. Uh, pirate. A water jewel, is it? I bet that, yeah. Any pirate would want to get their hands on it. But she'd be angry with me to tease the... So I might just take it to tease the sorceress to see her get red in the face. Yeah, basically, he just wants to see her get mad. I don't know why. Nothing worse than a woman scorned, although I know that's not scorned, but still. Anyways, moving on. She lets us have the water jewel. And she wants us to get rid of the pirate. Now we should be able to go back here and look, there is a spirit. Let's use it on water. And let's check for any more spirits, and I guess not, so let's go on this which it seems to be lagging a lot. And then another controller problem where it doesn't want me to go forward. And it's also lagging. So uh, yeah, anyways, fix that. Let's go talk to Epona again. At which I missed. Again. Okay. You've obtained the water jewel, I see. The truth is, that gem... Wow, I really can't read this fast enough, can I? Okay, basically, they're relying on us to make sure that, that the Book of Elatale is not used because its power is too great and would be bring destruction. And now we can go into the stone circle outside. Let's talk to this owl. You can save here if you want. But I don't want to. Because it doesn't save for whatever reason. Yay for glitching on a whole save. Whatever. So we're going to go through this and we come out at Larpool. Or Larpool. Okay, I... Yeah. Um, not really sure what we're supposed to do next. I kind of forgot. And, um, yeah. Let's just say, quite annoying. I had to go back and watch some... Um, a few let's plays of uh, uh, of McGammer's uh, let's play to figure it out didn't take too long but in the meantime I try to figure out what I'm supposed to do before I actually go watching that video or two and look at Shannon you know your own power, Master Brian. An ordinary magician never had so many uh, control of so many um, um, elements. Only one could be such if the spirits like him. So basically, I guess the spirits like Brian. He's a kid, I guess. He's likable. Very likable? I mean, he's got the cuteness factor of being a kid in a cloak of all things and a staff everybody likes the staff and the cloak I mean they're great you think he's going to an anime convention or some other great place to be that has lots of people dressed up and oh I guess Halloween but no forget that I don't like that um just some other thing some random event he's got a whole cloak yeah anyways so she can't help us now, so there's nothing to do with her, though she lets her down the water anyways. So we could go back to the blue cave, but um, uh, we're actually done with the blue cave. There's no reason to go back through it. I mean, unless you want to go for fun. <coughs> Yet I'm going to go check anyways. Okay, the blue cave or over up into the hotel again um or into the blue cave I don't want to go back in the blue cave so let's just go back into the hotel and um try and figure out 
what we're supposed to do. Since apparently I've forgotten. Badly forgotten. I don't know how it slipped my mind so much. I mean, I should have remembered. Uh, you remember the uh, the guy on the boat? We had to go get the uh, the wind and water elements or whatever before we could go to where we needed to go on the boat. Yeah, we're supposed to go back on the boat, which is over there, um, in the east, a little ways. We already did the coal hazard and the wind of ward forest, so yeah, we're supposed to go to that boat. But I forget this. I forget about it completely. But I head there anyways. Eventually. 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 So, yes, let's go out of our pool and head towards the... Uh, well, we gotta find the exit. Okay, now we can head towards that boat. Which will find some interesting, familiar enemies on our way. Which will be totally easy and not worth the experience. Hi, guys. Remember their weaknesses? Uh, Earth? One hit with Earth now and they die. That's how weak they are. That's their weakness and they die in one hit. By their weakness. How amazing is that? <coughs> okay, so let's follow this uh, path. <coughs> and we'll get rid of these guys from a random battle, which we can't see because of the cliff. Okay, now let's uh, get that rolling rock. Oops. Um, avalanche works too, I guess. Now let's get a normal rock, and that, wow, it missed. Okay, let's just hit him with a staff. Humiliate him. Humiliation! Yay! Okay, whatever. So, now we're on the map, we're on the map. Okay, so we need to go a little more south, and then a little east, or and then east. And I guess there's probably a path there. Oh, well, that way's south. So, wait, this way's east. Okay, so we follow this way. And into this random battle. Let's use rolling stone. Or rock. Rolling rock. Yeah, there we go. One hit, rolled. Rick rolled. No. No, no. Don't even. Just don't even. Okay, <coughs> so let's follow this path, and across this bridge, the path turns left, and more left, and then across this bridge, and we're at the boat. Okay, and this random battle, which, oh, I missed one. Okay. Okay. Rock. 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 Boom. Okay, there you go. I thought he was going to miss. Anyways, so let's go across this bridge to safety. We're here at the boat place. I don't know why I look at the map, but whatever. And, yes. We go... Where's the stairs? Oh, okay, there they are. There they are. There's the stairs. We go over here. And then we go up here, and I forget to talk to him. But that's okay. We come back out, and we're in the next place. Yay! That's a lost bounder and what? No, we don't want to go back. Do we? Are we even supposed to be here? Hmm. Well, let's find out. Um, well technically yes we are, but I end up using wings to get back to Larpool, and then, then I finally watch the video and find out where I'm supposed to go over to Limelin, but I forgot that for the moment, but um, yeah anyways, see you guys next time.